Good morning. It is Tuesday, December 1st. We are in John's Gospel. Um, a wizard is never late. He, he arrives exactly when he intends to. Um, excited about time with you today in Bible class, looking at the Lord's words and promises. On this Advent, oh, I love Advent. Don't you love Advent? Our eyes are fixed and waiting for the king to arrive. He's coming. He promises to come. He's going to come. Um, he is faithful, even unto death, death on a cross. So, uh, one more thing, and then uh, we'll be rocking and rolling. There we go. Open those comment streams there. Pause that, and we're hauling the mail. Right, away we go. <laughs> Gotta arrange the windows so that I can see multiple things. I don't wanna miss a comment from you guys. Um, this Giving Tuesday, remember uh, to uh, give to your church. Uh, but also, uh, remember, um, if you love the work we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. I uh, hope that it is a gift to you. And remember us this day, this Giving Tuesday. I find that the the Giving Tuesday thing to be interesting, um, because I, I like I like the fact that it's not Giving Thursday or Giving Wednesday. It's we've had um, we've had our our Black Friday sales. We 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 spent all our money, and then we spent all our money again on Monday. And what's left? Um, but uh, that's a bad spokesman for Giving Tuesday. But uh, every day should be Giving Tuesday. But on this day, where you're thinking about giving, if I haven't just ruined it, wow, that's just awful. Um, Guten Morgen to you. Um, then, um, um, we'll go on uh, with, with uh, just remember, the good gift. Of, if you're enjoying what's going on, um, the good gift of... Um, of the gospel in the ears of our youth. Think about it today. That's higherthings.org slash giving and give today. That was just an awful, awful, awful pitch for, uh, for Giving Tuesday. But um, moving right along. Um, uh, the, um, so... I want you to sort of um, just sort of take it in. Um, let's hit the text, shall we? All right. We stopped with verse 16. So he delivered him over to be crucified. Um, Pilate doesn't stop it. And that's the Lord's will. The Lord has no desire um, to... All of history has been moving toward this moment. All of recorded history... Um, all of recorded history has been has been has been has been moving. But look, everything that has ever happened in the faith, outside of the faith, in the stars, in the sky, all of it has been moving toward this moment in which um, um, Christ is standing before Pilate and rejected by his people. Rejected by his people. Rejected by his people. So, all of it, all of it, 
from what what is going on in 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 the undiscovered world at this time to the to 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 the celestial bodies and comets that miss the Earth to uh, what the pagans are doing. Um, all of it is moving toward little things, big things. This moment in which Jesus is rejected by God. Now you could you could you could do this with Christmas as well. Um, I think um, I usually do this on Christmas, um, but it's it's true here too. All of created history was was moving toward the birth of Christ, the life of Christ, and the death of Christ, and the resurrection. Of Christ, um, um, that's that's what's going on, and and Pilate can't stop it because this is what they really want. This is what we want. Um, we really want this. We want God off his throne. We want God dead. We want to be our own gods. We want to do our own thing. Be our own people. Um, we're all little children who snatch our hands back and say, I can do it myself. And so he handed them over to him, to them, so that they would to be crucified. And so they took Jesus. They took God. They took God. They took him to kill him. And, and, and God goes along with them. He goes along with them. Uh, again, I use this example for man of, man, of, man of Steel. That, you know, Superman is handcuffed. And Lois says, you know, why are... Why are you you're handcuffed? Why are you um, um, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Why are you like? Why are you allowing this to happen? Well, it wouldn't be a surrender. If, if I didn't. So they took Jesus. They took their God. Their rejected God. The God they want nothing to do with. And he went out. Bearing his own cross. Remember he said. Um, he said take up your cross and follow me. Um, remember he said, um, I, remember he said, where I go, you can't go. Um, so he bears his own cross to the place called the place of the skull, which is in Hebrew or Aramaic is called Golgotha. Um, he carries his own electric chair. carries his own electric chair. It's 
So they crucified him. With two others. One on either side. In the um, in another gospel, one of them is left and one of them is right. But that is to catch... Uh, remember when we did Matthew, that was to catch the... Um, that... Uh, the mother of the sons of Zebedee asking for her sons to be one on the right, one on the left when he come into his glory. Um, there they crucified him with two others. He is counted with sinners. He's numbered with them. If there was a sporting event and there were two teams, holy people and sinners, Jesus has the sinner jersey on. Think about that. Ponder that. Um... You okay, buddy? I was, um, I have to, he's, um, he's tending to his paws. He, he fought the Clippers and the Clippers won yesterday and he's not happy about it. And, um, uh, um, I can't afford to take him in to the vet to get his nails cut every time they need to be cut. So he and I have a, a conversation. He forgives me for it, but, um, um, He's he's very very sort of upset about the whole the whole rigmarole. You all right there, buddy? Popped him right on his nose. Um, the place of the skull in Latin. You'll see uh, right here. Can you see the Latin? I think you can. Is my mug in the way? Yeah, there it is. Calvary. That's where Calvary comes from. It's the Latin for the place of the skull. Um, Golgotha is the is the Aramaic. Calvary is the Latin. Um, there you have it in all the different languages. Oh yeah, I can learn how. I have. He just yanked his paw back and it wasn't a pleasant experience for him. But we, we do it every we do it every two weeks. It's just the last one was this last one was a little bit he wasn't happy with it, Mark. So um but I mean he trusts me. He's also not a nice dog. I, I tell you this all the time, y'all don't believe me. He likes me. He likes a few people, but most people he he's not a not a big fan of. And he, he um um, he's very protective and he's very sort of, uh, high strung, uh, dogs pick up the stuff from their owners. And I don't know if you know this, I might be a little high strung. I'm wound a little tight. So, um, there they crucified him with two others, one on either side and Jesus between them. He's in the midst of sinners. He's in the midst of sinners. He's between them. Pilate wrote an inscription and uh, placed it on the cross. And the, and the inscription read, um, Jesus Nazarenus ha basileus ton judaiorum. Um, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. You got the Latin here. And you'll notice the Latin letters. I-N-R-I. -I. Um, uh, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Those eyes. Remember we learned from Indy that in the Latin, the J's are eyes. 
Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. So I-N-R-I on the top of the cross. Um, you know, Karen, I try to walk him a lot, but um, uh, I was walking him so much during COVID that his little paws were raw, and so we, we had to take a break from walking. So, um, um, but uh, yeah, that's on my, um, and uh, he doesn't like grinders. I can't believe we're having this conversation, but he doesn't like grinders. The, the, the things he thinks of them like vacuum cleaners. He's not a big fan of vacuum cleaners or anything that's that that, that, that sort of makes the sucking noise. And so like he will walk over to a, 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 a vacuum cleaner that's off and bite it. And like he will go up and like fight the vacuum cleaner. So like I have to corral him in order to, um, um, you know what I mean? Um, So, I mean, he, he just, he just, um, yeah, he's named Thor. Well, Robinson, you got it. So he, he just doesn't like things that suck. And so like he, like, and the grinder makes the same noise. And so he's like too busy trying to kill the grinder grinding tool. So I have to sort of use the clippers. Boom, 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 boom. Um, it's okay. Um, I do turn it on. He doesn't like that either, Mark. Anyway, um, uh, <laughs> you over there texting, buddy? I like Joe Madden. Yeah, he likes Joe, but he doesn't like Sandra. It's hilarious. And the last time he sort of moaned at Sandra, Joe was like, that's my wife. And then all of a sudden he's like, okay, I'll be nice to her. That's very, very funny. Um, he doesn't like Sandra, but he loves Joe. And uh, uh, Joe just said, you know, that's my wife. And all of a sudden, um, yeah. So um, he writes, so the, the, the I-N-R-I is Jesus Nazarenus Rex Judaiorum. Um, it's the Latin for um, uh, the Greek, which is Jesus ha Nazarenus ha Basileus ton Judaion. Um, uh, so yeah, yeah, so that's where the INRI comes from on crosses. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The chief priests. Oh, I love it. I love it. And you should love it too. I love it. So, um, the chief priest said to Pilate, don't make Rafe, don't write the King of the Jews, but write this. Um, he said, I'm the king of the Jews. This guy said, the king, I'm the king of the Jews. Yeah, we're getting Thor lessons today on, on, on who he likes and who he doesn't. Emma, I'm sorry about that. Um, again. think this through. They are literally oh, you can hear the kids singing. You, literally they are they don't want even they don't want a fact on the cross. They want an opinion. His opinion was that he was the king of the Jews. Um So they don't want a, a statement of truth on the cross, the king of the Jews. They want 
It was his opinion that it was the king of the Jews. This is postmodernism in 30-something A.D. I mean, this is, this is, there's no truth. This isn't truth. It's not truth that he's the king of the Jews. It's his opinion that he's the king of the Jews. We don't accept that. Think this. Think about this. They don't want him as their king. They don't even want the sign above his head to say what he is. Think that through for a second. Ponder that reality. We don't want this, God. We don't want him at all. We just got, If we could get rid of him and dead, then it would be better. Pilot answers are ga grafa, ga grafa, which is what I've written. I've written. Sort of Yule Brenner, so let it be written, so let it be gone. Um, this is how much the world hates the gospel. This is how much the world hates Jesus. Don't put a fact on there. Instead, I've always wondered why there were two totally different criminals on the cross. One who came to believe and one who wanted him to prove who he was. Um, that's, that's life. Um, that's the way life is. Um, Why do some believe and not others? Why does anyone believe? For our good, this happens. Terry Lynn. This happens for our, our good. So there's one who believes and one who doesn't for our salvation and for the salvation of the one who did believe. So the, the, the ones crucifying him Or actually, yeah, the ones crucifying him, um, sort of as they were, um, as he was crucified, they took his robe, um, and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier um, also his tunic uh, but the tunic was without seam woven in one piece from top to bottom so they said to one another let's not tear it but let's throw dice well, let's cast lots for it to see whose it shall be. And thus was fulfilled the word which says, They divided my garments amongst them, and for my, 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 for my clothing they casted lots. And Christopher Horgan is completely right. We're the same. We're the same as I was hoping that someone would say that. Thank you, Christopher. Your name means Christ bearer, and you did it today, too. Um, I was hoping somebody would say this. It's not just them that want 
God out of the picture. It's us. It's us. We want God out of the picture. Because you see, they didn't crucify Jesus. We all did. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know their sin. My sins crucified the Lord of glory. Which you should also think of um, on Christmas as well. You should think that baby's in the manger because of me. My sins did that. My sins did that. My sins caused that to happen. It's my fault. This is important for another reason. It fulfills the word. They cast lots for his clothing. It fulfills the word. Um, it, 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 it fulfills the word that um, that Um, they divided my garments. It also fulfills another word. And that is that um, the high priest's garment isn't to be torn. Levitical law prohibits it. Uh, blessings on your test, Emma. The high priest's robe isn't to be torn. And his isn't torn either. We're going to stop here. Have a blessed day as you ponder... Christ and his gifts for you as you sort of take in Advent and you and you and you and you and you really should ponder the suffering and death of Christ in the Advent season. I personally love the use of violet in this season. Um, I also like it when um, um, when folks are like, uh, those are the Lenten pyramids. Um, there's crosses and crowns of thorns on there. That's not very Christmassy. You got it. That baby's born to die. God's coming is to save you. So blessed and happy Tuesday in the first week of Advent, and we will see you tomorrow. Same HT time, same HT schedule, um, same channel. Have a blessed day.